Hello, this is Monique with Spirit Nutrition, and today we're going to talk about something very important, and that is how to pray. Prayer has always been this very mysterious thing that people feel like that they can't do. Most people confuse conversational prayer with ritual prayer, and this gives them the um, sort of belief that they don't know how to pray because they may not understand how to ritually pray. So I'm going to talk a little bit about both of those. Prayer has been essential to my life, and I will say it is cliche, but prayer really does change things. Of course, it is important to know how to pray so that you can have your actions follow up in order to bring that change. Just praying doesn't bring change. Prayer, which brings guidance, brings change. So when you hear prayer changes things, don't think that just because you're praying that things are going to change. So before we begin this video, I just want to remind you to please go ahead and like the video. Make sure you comment and by all means subscribe. Don't forget that notification bell so you never miss an episode. All right, everyone, let's get started. Let's learn how to pray. First, we have to understand that there are as many ways to pray as there are people. And you need to understand this so you can be able to relax a little bit when you begin to make prayers on your own. There are several different types of prayer, but the two that I'm going to focus on today is conversational or everyday prayer and also ritual praying. Whether you are talking about conversational prayer or you are talking about ritual prayer, please understand it is about love. So everything that is done in love doesn't have to be all fancy and extra. So let's go ahead and start with conversational prayer. There are three things that you need in order to have conversational prayer. The first one is a mouth. The second one is a body. And the third one is a sentient mind. If you have those three things, then you are ready to endeavor into conversational prayer. Conversational prayer is the prayer that you do every day all the time whenever you say thank you whenever you honor something that is important for your ancestors regardless of what you do just realize that everyone can conversationally pray and i would challenge you to take a moment because you probably are conversationally praying and you don't even know it acknowledgement thanks gratitude i say amen namaste I hope that I have convinced you that whenever you open your mouth and you show gratitude is actually prayer. Everyday prayer is more relaxed. It is more informal. It's just really you having a basic conversation or a basic thanks and a prayer can be anywhere from five seconds to 30 minutes. It really just depends. But let's not confuse conversational prayer with ritual prayer, which we are going to talk about right now. All right. So when you are ritually praying, there is some preparation that must be done. The first thing that you need to do is clean your body. And for me, part of that cleaning your body and preparing yourself is I like to make myself pretty. So I do my hair, I put on my jewelry, I put on light colors and I take it really serious. I really kind of look at it like I'm going to a wedding where my family is going to be or my ancestors are going to be and I need to present myself in the best way possible. So do what feels best for you, but I make sure that I clean and prepare myself to enter into the chamber of the Most High. The next thing that is important to do is grab the things that you need in order to prepare for prayer. Maybe it's crystals, it's your wand, your Bible, maybe it's your grimoire. Whatever it is, you wanna make sure that you gather all the materials that you need and have them prepared. You just want to find a quiet and private place to be. Just like anything else, you must start with an intention. Intention is so important. It's how we speak. It's how we carry ourselves. Setting an intention for everything and specifically in prayer is very important. You need to decide what are you going to be doing? Are you just venerating your ancestors and your deities? Are you interceding on someone's behalf or are you petitioning on the behalf of yourself? Knowing your intention before you go into prayer will allow you to sort of have a flow and sort of communicate with the other side about what's going to happen. 
think about the posture that you are going to use. Are you more led to prostrate? Maybe you want to kneel. Maybe you want to sit. Decide what posture you're going to be in so that you can be comfortable and that you can be prepared. And you don't have to be extra. If your knees are bad or something hurts, don't let that stop you from ritually praying. Just find another comfortable position. Again, the Most High knows your ailments, knows what's going on. So just be true to your physical body and do what is comfortable. So pick your posture. All right, so we have everything we need. We have our tools, our rugs. We know what we're going forward in prayer. We're either venerating, we're interceding, or we're petitioning. And so we've got all of that stuff together. And now it is time to enter the chamber and begin to connect with your ancestors and the Most High God. So now that you have a quiet mind, you have visualized, you're in a place of peace, don't neglect this step. It may take you five minutes, it may take you 25 minutes, but you sit and contemplate until you feel open, until you feel free, until you feel loose, until you feel relaxed, and your physical body and your mind are no longer in the way to how you connect with the other side. Next, you should announce yourself before you move forward. And when I say announce yourself, I am meaning announcing yourself to your spirit guides or to your ancestors. I always start ritual prayer with the ancestors. Ancestors first in the tradition that I follow. Oh, I'm gonna call some ancestors names. If you are privileged enough to know ancient ancestors names, then by all means, you should do that as well. So it's just a matter of entering, thank you so much. I enter into as the daughter of such and such. Again, it is intention. So if you are not specific and you do not name who you want to talk to, who you want to carry you, who you want to protect you in love and light, then you could attract other ancestors that maybe are not as helpful or you may attract dark energies. So we always wanna make sure that we present ourselves to the ancestors or present ourselves to the divine with an announcement. Make sure you bring something. You wanna to go to a friend's house empty-handed. Don't go before your deities and your ancestors empty-handed. Money, fruit, money. And then finally, you are going to ask them to come be with you. And there is so much beauty and so much love when your prayer is answered at that moment. Don't always feel like you have to be the one talking. You don't listen. The whole point of ritual prayer is to show your respect and then also ask for their guidance. You cannot receive their guidance if you're constantly talking. Ritual prayer is a way for me to sort of not ask for what I need because I may not even know what I need. It is just my time to sit at the feet of the ancestors. Now, this is where things get tricky because a lot of times we have some pain from our past religions if we felt like that somehow we were duped or we were lied to. But the important thing to understand is that ritual praying and when you sit down with your ancestors, it really ain't about you. It is about seeking guidance. And so I am very careful to honor the traditions that they have been in. So I may transition with, thank you for your time. I honor all of the gods and the deities that you may have worshiped that got you through light and love in your lifetime. And then I open myself up to my deities. And then I begin speaking to those deities or praying or whatever uh, I need to do at that time. Once you get ready to leave the room, you must know, or when you stop ritual prayer, you must know that you can never turn your back to your deities or to your spirit guides or your ancestors. You wanna back out of the room. We must show respect, so back it up. I just like to close this video with saying that there are all types of different prayers. I just spoke about two, but there's dancing, singing, drumming, instruments, all of that is 
forms of prayer. We must never forget that prayer is a connection with the divine in unconditional love. And if you do that, no matter how you pray, you are on the right track. If this video helped you, please go ahead and write comments. If you have tips about how you pray, I would love to hear that as well. Go ahead and like this video and be sure to hit that notification bell so you never miss an episode. Prayer with action changes things. And as long as you do that, you will be in a position to have a very loving and healthy prayer life. Ashe.